Hi guys. Uh, so today we're going to summarize the uh, sine, cos, and tan ratios for the acute angles in a right angle triangle. Huh? Uh, so what I have here is this um, word, which is kind of weird. Uh, the word is Sakatoa. Okay, and uh, that's going to hopefully help us remember the order of the ratios. Okay, so it's an acronym. Okay, which means that uh, all the letters are the first letter of a word. Okay, so if we consider x the reference angle, okay, well then sine of x we said is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cos of x is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and tan of x is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay? So what that means is we've got sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. Okay? You put those letters together and you get our acronym. Sakata. Okay, so that's all you got to remember, Sakatoa, and that will tell you the order of all of the ratios, okay? So here we're asked to determine the trig ratios for the following triangle, okay? So the first thing that we need to consider is the fact that there are two different angles in this triangle, okay? There's angle C, okay, and there's angle A. Okay, so we're going to have to find three ratios for each of those angles. Okay, so let's start with angle C. Okay, so if we're looking at angle C as the reference angle, right, then the first thing we need to do with that is we need to name the sides accordingly. Okay, so if angle C is the reference angle, right, remember the one that angle C points at is called the opposite, right, that this side is actually opposite of angle C. Right? The one that the right angle points at is called the hypotenuse. Is called the hypotenuse. And the one that's left, the one that's adjacent to angle C, is called the adjacent side. Okay? So the three ratios that we're going to have to work with are called sine C. Right? cos C, and finally, tan C. Okay? So, to figure out what the numbers are, let's just go back to our acronym, and remember, SOKATOA, right? So, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So, that means that sine C is opposite over hypotenuse, so 4 over 5, right? Cos C is the ka part that's adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 over 5, and tan is the toa that's opposite over adjacent, so 4 over 3, okay? So that's that for angle C, okay? Now we want to work with angle A, okay? So first of all, what that means is we're going to have to rename these sides, right? Because what was adjacent to C is not going to be adjacent to A, okay? So we get rid of our old labels, and now we call the hypotenuse, stays the hypotenuse, and we can see that the one that's opposite of angle A is actually this one here, so that's going to be opposite, and the leftover is the 4, okay? So now we can write down sine C, that's saw, right, O-H, S-O-H, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Ka is adjacent over hypotenuse, so cos C is 4 over 5. And finally, tan C is toa, and that's opposite over adjacent, so 3 over 4. Okay? So what we've done is we've gotten 1, 2, 3 ratios for angle C, 1, 2, 3 ratios for angle A, and we're done. Angle B can't be a reference angle because it's 90 degrees. Okay, so a 90 degree angle cannot be a reference angle. Okay, so here we are asked to solve the following triangle. Okay, so what that means 
is name all the sides. Okay, so the names that we're going to use is the same as the angles. So angle B points to side B. Angle C points to side C. Okay, and angle A points to side A, but we already know side A, so that's fine. Okay, so now what we want to do is we actually want to figure out what these two sides are, and we want to figure out what that angle is. Okay, so the easiest thing is to know that this is a 90 degree angle. Okay, so I think we can figure out angle C fairly easily. Right, we know that angle C plus 49 plus 90 has to equal 180. So to figure out C, all we have to do is take 180 and take away 90 and take away 49. Right, and we end up with 41 degrees for angle C. Okay, now uh, we need to figure out what sides B and C are. Okay. And to do that, we'll use reference angle 49 because that one's given. You want to use given information as much as possible. Okay. So we're going to use angle 49 and we're going to use the length 23 centimeters. Okay. So let's start with figuring out what side B is. Okay. So the first thing that you should realize is B is the hypotenuse, right? And 23 is the opposite. Okay. So opposite of 49. So we need the ratio that relates opposite to hypotenuse, right? So that should be SOH, right? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that means that sine 49 is opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So now, we just have to input that into our calculator. Well, first rearrange, right? So we'll get B times sine 49 is equal to 23, right? And then we'll divide both sides by sine 49 to get B is 23 divided by sine 49, okay? Now we'll input that into our calculator. So 23 divided by sine 49. So for me, that's 49 sine. For you, that might be sine 49, okay? So this says 30.48, okay? So 30.48, and now do we need units? The question has units, it's centimeters. So that means that our answer is in centimeters, okay? So that's the length of side B, 30.48. Or eight centimeters. Okay. All right. The last thing we need to do is figure out side C. Okay. So now notice that C is actually adjacent to angle A. Okay. So what that means is we need the ratio that relates opposite to adjacent, right? So OA, OA. So that means that a ratio that we're looking for is this toe apart, right? So tan is opposite over adjacent, okay? So we can actually write down tan 49 is opposite over adjacent, right? So we'll do the same thing again. We want to isolate C, so C times tan 49 is 23. So that means C is 23 over 1049. Okay? So I'm going to leave you to input that into your calculator and tell me what the answer is tomorrow. Okay? And we're going to go on to this last problem uh, where we have to figure out the actual size of the angle um, using trigonometry. Okay? So um, we're going to have to use a trig ratio. We have two sides, we don't have the angle. Okay? So the question is with respect to this angle, what size do we have? Well, here's the right angle tri triangle. So that means this is the hypotenuse. This is the reference angle, right? So that points to the opposite. And that leaves this one to be adjacent, OK? So what that means is we've got hypotenuse and adjacent, right? So now we have to figure out which ratio do we want to use. Well, if we have adjacent and hypotenuse, it means we want to use the cos ratio, OK? 
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, cos x is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do x is equal to, and remember we're going to use that cos inverse button. So cos cos inverse button, right? So cos to the negative one, and we're going to input four over six. Okay, so let's do that here. So I'm going to do four divided by six is equal to, and I'm going to do inverse cos. Okay, and there it is, 48.19. Okay, so x is 48.19 degrees. Okay, so remember, um, watch the video again if you need to, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.